Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about Enum in VBA. And I must say you have already used Enum, but not in VBA, but in formula. Let me show you what I mean. So whenever you use rand array function, then you will see it asking me to give the rows, columns, and I am only interested on the last part is this one, integer. And you can see it's giving you option that false, that's for decimal, true, that's for integer. So it is giving you two options right now, like, right? and if I just say, okay, false or true, then it will pick the true value instead of all description, it's just picking the true value, right? So that's an enum. Let me give you another example. So if I use pivot by, see, yeah, and look at this one, this function, and you can see that it has a list of function values. And if I pick any one of them, it's picking that particular item like this count a, right? And you can see there is another one, zero, one, two, three, right? So if I use this, then it's picking one. But if you look at the description, one, yes, but don't show, okay? Two, no, but generate okay so ideally enum is like this that instead of putting the value right you know if you use like this one then it's putting one instead of that uh, description right but if you look at this one then it's putting the text right like you know count or sum or anything else so whenever you have a certain group of item and you want to give user an option to choose any one of them then enum is the best choice instead of putting the number like this one that okay i need to remember that okay what this two means right so instead of giving this two i can say okay this two is a no but generate okay it's kind of like you know no but generate and it will use two internally okay so that's the whole idea of enum enum is just a numerical value but instead of using one two three we are using a textual representation so that it will be more readable and more meaningful and in this video i'm not going to show you from scratch i'm just going you to show some time so let's go into the code so I have a text utilities and here I have all the enums. Okay. I have right now three enums. And you can see whenever you have a group of things like choice, you can use enum. So you can see from start, from end, from both. Right. So these are the choice relative position. Right. So if I say, okay, text dot before delimiter and let's say, and then you can see delimiter as a string. So let's say space and then you can see index is let's say one and now you can see instead of putting one for from start or minus one for from end or two from both we can pick the item from the list like this and it's much more readable this particular code is now much more readable than if i use so from end so that is minus one right so now you can see this is much more readable than this one and this is much more meaningful right if i just use this and if i just use this both will return me the same result but instead of using minus one i am using a textual representation and it's much more readable than this one because i don't need to remember what this minus one means right and it also giving me the option to choose from the drop down like this like the excel function right so you can say from start so get this right so this is what an enum okay and it applies when you have a group of item a group of choice and you want to pick any one of them from the list okay and the syntax is like this you can create a public enum or you can create a private enum so you need to specify this keyword that access modifier that public or private then enum keyword and then give the enum names okay so for me this is relative position so right now i am picking this like this from end or from start or i could just say relative position dot from like this right from start i could say that as well so you can use that name or you can just ignore that and just use this one from start and from end one more thing that if you look at my naming convention that i am using uppercase and underscore and that is because these are kind of constant okay so i am applying the same rules same naming convention that i use for constant okay so it's much more easier to look at this like this instead of you know from start this from start as these are constant it's not going to change the value so i am using uppercase with underscore between words okay so that's a couple of things 
access modifier and i'm keywords and i'm name and then use constant naming convention i mean the naming convention for what you use for constant for in a member and assign the value and you can see uh, like comparer have ignore case consider case occurrence all last and first okay and i am using this enum as a parameter in couple of function like the search direction as relative position start delimiter search direction and delimiter search direction and i have more example of using this one like you know if i just search this then you can see comparison type as comparer equals to consider case also you can use the default value from any in a member as i said earlier this is kind of constant okay so you can use their value as well when you specify a optional parameter and you can specify the default value for that particular optional parameter okay so that's the enum i want to find out a little bit more about this one that you can ignore the value as well like you know you can just specify that from start from end from both without using this equals to one equals to minus one or equals to two okay it's not mandatory but if you don't use then initially it will use like you know let me show you that i'll just copy this one and create a comparator two okay get rid of this and get rid of this okay now i can say okay now it's little bit confusing right ignore case you can see i have ignored case twice ambiguous name detected right so that's why you can specify that okay i need the ignore case from this oh like this one is also causing the problem because i haven't specified that one okay let's put two so that we don't get any confusion okay you can see the starting value is zero okay so the first one will pick the zero and the next one will be incremented by one okay so zero and one so if i just say consider case then you can see one but let's suppose i specify this as a five the next one will be incremented by one so if i just use this now then you can see it's a six and i can ignore one value in the middle of this and then increment another one like third third one i don't know let's say 10 okay and now if i say okay third one then you can see i get 10 so if we don't specify the value it will pick the previous value and increment by one and if we specify then it will take whatever we have specified okay so that the uh, whole thing about enum so that's it for this video if you have any question feel free to comment have a good day